from enclosed space uh, design and ruining cabinetry uh, to open concepts. Open concepts are really the trend in condo builds nowadays. And while you might love the layout, there are challenges when it comes to actually designing the space. Lucky for us, designer Shai DeLuca has lots of experience with open concept. Shai, where do you recommend viewers start with this type of space? So you know, T, the biggest challenge in an open concept is creating uniformity uh, in the walls. The challenge is, is you don't want to have the same finish on all the walls, but you want it to look uniform. So we started with this beautiful grass cloth, and it's almost like a bluey green. There's almost like an aqua tone to it, so it's a little bit warmer. And that was the first backdrop. And in order to then balance that correctly in the kitchen, we chose millwork, custom millwork that has a cooler gray tone. To to it. So this really picks up the colors in the grass cloth. Of course we had the feature wall where the fireplace and TV is and we cladded that in a porcelain, a grey porcelain with white veining so that it all has that same colour family but in a different material so it gives each space its own unique look. It all works and I love grass cloth. So let's talk a little bit about furniture placement and how you've used that to help delineate the space. Absolutely, so furniture placement is huge when you're doing an open concept space because really it's going to help you define the areas. So let's look at the area here in the dining room. So this is an oval table which you've chosen to do and an oval table is going to feel a little bit more organic. It's gonna make the movement around the area a little bit easier, but it defines the space nicely. We have the kitchen island here. This is a permanent fixture, so this defines finds the kitchen, this is the border to the kitchen, creates the dining room area over here. When we get into the living area, this is where it becomes a little bit more challenging. So we decided to do a sectional because they are big entertainers. Say hi, Sheena. <laughs> big entertainers. <laughs> she comes everywhere with me. Uh, big entertainers, we have the sectional, but the sectional is open to this side of the unit. We wanted to create additional seating because we didn't want to lose out on seating this way, so we added two swivel chairs. And what's great with swivel chairs is they're able to turn around and look into the dining if you need that additional kind of seating when people are congregating here. Now the important thing to remember is when I'm sitting in the living room and I'm choosing pieces for the dining, what am I looking at? I'm looking at the backs of the chairs. So rather than have the same fabric on the front and on the backs of the chairs, we decided to do a contrasting fabric on the back. The contrasting fabric on the back actually picks up all of the different colors in the unit. So what that does is it's almost a uniform. It brings everything together in the space. Sheena is such a TV dog. Can I just say, you know exactly who her daddy is. Like she is just <laughs> picture perfect. Let's talk about lighting a little bit shy. How important is lighting in an open concept space? Oh my goodness, lighting just like the furniture is key because it's not only functional in terms of the actual utilitarian light factor, it is also very much a, a placement. So what it's going to do is ground the space. This beautiful custom fixture that we did over the dining table. So we actually custom colored all of these different pieces, again, to pick up in the different colors that you see in the unit, but because it is such a large piece, it grounds the space. It really gives a center point to the dining area. And then, of course, the custom pieces that we did over the island, two large pieces. I find, usually, a lot of people are wary about uh, doing larger pieces over an island. They feel it's too big. What I find is that they usually pick pieces that are too small. So we went oversized with these, and rather than doing three because we always like to do you know we talk about the odd numbers I did two larger ones these really balance the space nicely and give a clear sight line throughout if I'm sitting in the dining looking into the kitchen okay now I know you found an interesting way to incorporate a wine fridge into this space and this is why we should all be hiring shy Tell us a little bit about that. <laughs> Absolutely. So when they bought this unit, there was a wine fridge in the hallway as you entered. It was an odd spot. I mean, hey, I am all for coming home and grabbing that bottle of wine the minute you walk in, but it just didn't make sense in terms of the design. So what we wanted to do was actually bring it into the area that made more sense in the kitchen or adjacent to the kitchen. So we had this dead area here, basically a dead area, and we created this custom millwork. Again, we chose the color based off of the grass cloth, built 
it around the wine enclosure. And because the two wine, the two wine fridges uh, were not wide enough, we used this middle space actually for all of their accoutrement, anything that they needed for the wine area, lit it up. And I think it, abs it looks absolutely fantastic. It really gives a custom uh, wine, almost wine cellar look for wine aficionados like these clients are. It's the sexy lighting for me. Oh my gosh, right? that is gorgeous in there in the middle. Shy, thank you exactly so much. Right.